everybody welcome back to my channel and so today we have a lot in stock for you because i have decided to do a video on this house well it's not really a house for me it's technically a mansion because um it is my second to the last day here in jakarta and so i've decided that i want i would want to like save a clear copy of this huge mansion before I go home so I could just look back to it and say I've had a lot of memories in this house. So I'm going to show you as much as I can, but I have to tell you that they also have privacy rules, so I can't really show you every corner and every room in this house. So maybe I can only show you three bedrooms and then that's all because, um, my aunt's family needs their privacy too, so I hope you guys would understand that and would like this video. And please subscribe down below and click on the notification bell so that you could be part of my hashtag family. Yes, I've had, I think I already have 25 um, people on my family and I'm really thankful for the first subscribers. But I hope you guys will also um, go on with me on this uh fun experience i'm just really doing this because this has been my dream since the past and like now that i've had a reliable camera and um i've actually got to learn a few editing skills now why not use it if we've actually worked hard for it so let me tour you around so let's start with going outside let's go so we're finally outside of this big house and I'm very, very pumped up on touring you on this large mansion just in front of me. So technically I'm really outside of the boundary of this house. See, I'm on the streets or the outside of this mansion and this is the mansion itself behind me. I'm really outside the gates. As you can see, there's gates here. And now I'm ready to take you inside. I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase and leave Sadly, we have to enter through the back door because the front and the main door over there is locked and uh, my aunt brought the key with her so we just have to pass through the back gates here. So first of all, this is their back, um, their front yard. There is technically a basketball ring over there and like it's just grass and everything the usual front yard and this is their um, <laughs> way to go to the garage which is that one i don't know how to open that one but it's fine there's nothing inside of it because my aunt and her family is currently outside so let's just enter technically really holding this tripod is very hard then this is where we're gonna enter it leads directly to the backyard. Let's close it before we leave. Guys, I'm so sorry if my videos are not of high quality yet. It really isn't because... Oops. It really isn't because I don't have the proper stabilizer for the phone. It's still too expensive for me. It's like, I think, 6K for online. There's no stabilizers available in my city, so we, I really have to buy online. But 6K is big money, and I also have to get it with shipping fees, so 6K is not the only thing I'll pay. So this is their backyard over here. We could see that we're finally at their, the lawn out here. That thing is for the pool over there. It's like a small shed or something. So now I'm gonna lead you to the pool. Pool, which is here. If you guys are my friends or anything, you have seen this pool already in my Instagram stories or anything. So please follow me on my Instagram, which will be here. Also on my Twitter account so that you'll be updated and anything we might have like Q&A videos and I really, Appreciate you giving me questions there. I'll be posting something on my Twitter and maybe Instagram. So Let's go to the pool 
So this is the pool here. It's very, very beautiful. I might take a swim anytime now, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, because it is my last few days here in Jakarta and I would really, really want to make the use of it because we're leaving on Saturday, so I'll also be vlogging from my, from my travel vlog from Jakarta back to the Philippines and then back to my small city. And here is just a small entranceway to the house itself. We have a grilling station here. We've used that a lot when we've been here because we've done a lot of barbecues, which will something I will really treasure. It's also a great memory. And this is a place where we also used to eat sometimes. We actually ate breakfast here this morning. And so that is it for the whole outside tour. Well, actually, I would want to show you and tell you that there's a tennis court over there, but it's not really in the house. But you can see over here, there's a tennis court below. You could just go there anytime. It's free for the homeowners in this place. And basically there's, I think, only three or four houses in this place because it's all just mansions and the mansions are taking up the place of the whole property. So let us enter. In us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. Finally, we're going to enter the house. We're now done with our um, outside tour. Just close the door, because there's the AC inside. So basically, this is the first thing you will see. There's two big doors here on each of our sides. You could hear that my voice is echoing because of how huge this house is. My father is here. Say hi to the video. <laughs> First, show them this part. Anyway, it's okay. So, we have a small, um, like a counter table here with these decorations and this plant over here. And also, we have this stand. It really just depicts and really shows us a tal um, a elegant home, uh, um, a nature inspiring home. And I could just tell you that plants is really good for your house because it can give you more air. It can keep your house at a cold climate even sometimes. So I really, really um, recommend you guys to get plants inside your house. Not the fake ones, but the real ones because they really, really give more air inside the house. No matter how hot it is, it could really help you. And you could save energy if you do that. So there's also another plant here. So this is basically the first part of the house from where we came from. Molly, say hi to the camera. That's my aunt's dog. I really got to bond with her when I came here in Jakarta and I really, really miss her because I'll be leaving, as all of you know already. I mentioned it a couple times. So this is the first part of the living room. This is just the first part. And then now we're actually going to the actual, actual living room itself. It's a really big space we've got here. We have some couches. There's four in accordance. There's four couches, which Molly loves to go in. Right, Molly? And then, now, um, sorry for the messy table, but it's fine. That really depicts that it's an active home. So, this is the, there's also a plant here. There's a lamp, which my cousin uses, or her um, parents to use when they read books. It's, they really um, told me to get the right type of light when we read books because um, white light doesn't really help. It doesn't really like helps protect your eyes. It just gives you light to read. But there's type of lights out there that um, helps you protect your eyes. There's some lights actually like that. I would really want one. There's another plant here basically, and then we have another table with these stuff on. So there's basically three tabletops on the, the living room itself. And then here we've got um, frames of plants. It's really, really cute. I've never really given, um, let's say, uh, I didn't really give any notice to them until now when I've mentioned about plants, but 
they really really did got a lot of plants so now we're going to the kitchen so this is the kitchen itself we've got a um eight seater table it's really we also got like i think my aunt really likes the eight seater ones because it's very good it's big enough it's not too big and it's not too small so it's very advisable we've got a window here with the curtains the white see-through curtains and we've got more frames of plants here i'm actually thinking of where to buy these ones they're very cute but i don't have money <laughs> i just want to know where and then here we have like a countertop or i don't know what this is called but we've got more stuff here there's a um, clock over there and more decorations we've got chocolates the primary thing about this house is that it's full of food we've got cheese cupcakes which i love these are freshly baked from my aunt she loves baking she's technically a baker she owned a cafe once when she was still in australia there's more food Let's see there's more food and then we've got this of course you know what that is bakers use them and then we've got more um stuff here so basically i think my aunt uses this when she like there's a few more dishes here i'm not gonna open the whole thing because i think you would already see there's not much but yeah it's just a few utensils we've got here china made or i don't know i'm just making up this stuff but these are very very antique like this is an antique tea kit or tea set and then we've got books here yes this house is also full of books because my cousin is a book reader and then there's just more pots and stuff here there's also that i don't know what that is so now we're gonna go ahead to the kitchen this is the dispensary so This here. is the kitchen. You can see the dispensary. So we have the fridge here. I'm not just going to open that because I feel like I'm invading privacy and that's not my fridge. So, And then we have here tissues and some of the utensils that we use for cooking. There's corn and potatoes. My cousin technically loves potatoes. She could eat mashed potato a lot, a lot, and she never goes out of it. And then we have the food that we just ate this lunch. And then here we have the cooking station and then we have the ovens too. Of course, my Tita can't live with ovens, without, li without ovens, sorry. And then here we have more of her baking utensils. Forgot what that thing is called. I'm totally not educated in this area. We have the blender, at least I know what that is. And then we have the microwave and then the rice cooker and some seasonings here. That's what we use for cooking. And then we have the sink itself. It's it's a, it gives a view to the outside. So technically when I was vlogging outside, my mom was staring at me. <laughs> and then we have plates and then more of these stuff. There's more food inside these drawers. And then we also have these. Now we go to our, like I wanna call it, the breakfast or snack station because basically if we don't eat rice we always have the option of just going with bread and use the spreads we have a lot here we have skippy um skippy is technically my aunt's favorite we have the arla which is my dad's favorite we have this um i never tried this because i'm not really a fan of jam sorry to tell you if you guys are a fan have salted peanuts that's my mom's there's many more food here in this kitchen there's also a drawer i have some young here which i never even ate yet look i might do a challenge in zamis i might cook one with my friends and then there's coffee there and there's vegemite if you guys like vegemite comment down below because i absolutely i absolutely not love it okay so now we go on to this. It's just where we put our 
um, plates and our glasses. Bowls, technically it's just there. And this, I don't think I can show you what's there, but I can tell you what's there. It's a dirty kitchen and for the where the maids could stay, I'll just not invade their privacy. So that is it for the living room and the kitchen. So let us move. And so let's move on to the last part of the first floor. Well, there's technically more, but then I've told you that there, we also have our own privacy, so we're not going to invade that. And then we have here actually to my left an aquarium, which is owned by my cousin's dad. So, all those fishes. Yeah. They really love nature. I could see that this family really depicts and shows that nature is really important. So another plant here on this side. That which is good and then we have here the mirror and i'm there basically so we have candles red candles and then there was mentos on this plate but then once we arrived in this house everything was gone i could really tell you that we love eating and my tita really prepared for it and then there's this cute home sign and this thing. I feel like, oh, it's Glade. I think it makes your house smell better. And this is the front door that I was talking to you about that I cannot open because it was locked. It's fine, but we finally managed to arrive here. And then we have this thing where we can put our umbrellas or stools or sticks or whatever you have. If you guys bring sticks to other people's houses, that's funny. And then we have the outlets here. And then we have a dog again. So I'll be showing you what, what this room is. We're gonna be entering this room. It's a bit dark because it's where we watch movies or where we watch Netflix. <laughs> I don't know if I should show my dad right now because he might get mad. <laughs> so this is the chair we have for watching movies and the television is behind me. We like stay up late at night just to watch a lot of netflix movies there it's connected to netflix youtube the internet basically with a much bigger 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 screen so this is technically what's inside this room so now that we're done with the tv room let us now go to the second floor and we're almost done with the tour basically I tell you, there's a lot more to this house, but I can't really show every one of you everything. So let's go upstairs now. Open so now we're gonna go up. My family is in the TV room. They're gonna watch another movie, basically. So let's go up the stairs now. Oh, I really need a stabilizer for my phone so i could properly vlog like give you good videos at least right so this is the stairs i'm gonna go up from i think it's better look there's also a chandelier here this is the stairs that i came from every detail that i could give you should be part of it i'm out of breath let's go enter the first room Sorry for the messy stuff, guys. So this is the room where I took my introduction, the video. I think you can hear my breathing now. So, it's the first room you'll be seeing before the stairs. It truly is messy. I'm very sorry for this. Basically, it's me. It's my sister and I's fault. So. Oh my gosh, I'm really running out of breath, but it's fine. There, This is actually a single bed, but there's another phone down there. So we just push it and move it to the side here so that my mom can sleep there. Basically, me and my sister don't sleep in this room. We get the obligatory of sleeping in the master's bedroom. <laughs> and now we have 
this bathroom. So this is the bathroom, guys. Basically, this house has a bathroom for every bedroom. No matter how big the room is, there's always a bathroom available, which I like because I would really love to have a bathroom inside my room. It will be very good. So I'm really hoping for that, but I'm fine. It's chill. At least I've earned my room already. <laughs> So, again, my father's phone is charging over there. So that is it for this room. Let's move on to the second one. It's cut through me, hypnotized by the sound. I'm not going to show you the second room. So this is basically the outside of that room. It's very, it's very big. Sadly, we can't open this room. This is also the master's bedroom, but it's my aunt's. So we'll get for her privacy. But... I can show you my cousin's room. I already, she already, I think she already knows that I'll be doing this. It's fine. Let's turn the lights. So, this is her bedroom. I love it so much because it smells so good. She has a small mat here. So this is where she does her homework or other, like her art stuff. This is where her clothes are along with the big cabinets over here. She also has some stuff here for her daily use. And this is exactly what's making her room smell nice. And that's very, very expensive. Very expensive, I tell you. And this is her queen size bed. Very, very cute. Along with her friends. These are her friends. And I've known some of them for very long now. She has a lamp on the side. And another one here with her clock that could tell her when school starts. Her iPad is basically charging right now. Hoping it's not gonna get overcharged. But let's go to her bathroom. So this is her bathroom, you guys. It's a lot more bigger than the one I showed you. This is also like a semi-master's bedroom. So this is her sink. It's very neat. Her toilet and then her shower. I love the tiles of the of each bathroom that I've been to. So basically, you guys, that's all I could show you for the tour. We're finally done. I when hope I you guys enjoyed this video. Please click on the like button down there and please click the subscribe button so you could be part of my hashtag family and we will grow together. Let's do a road until 100 subscribers. Please help me achieve that and so on. Again, this house is great. I'm really happy that I got to tour you guys around here. But see you on my next vlog. Probably I'll be vlogging by the time we're already leaving this place. Because I will be watching Avengers with my family tomorrow. So please guys, if you've watched this video and you've already watched the Endgame, please don't spoil anyone. That's really not kind of you and that's offensive too especially for those who have been waiting for a year for this so i hope you guys will be on my channel always you will keep on supporting and you will like wait for the next vid probably this saturday and i don't know but guys i just have to tell you that i can't be posting daily anymore once i get home because i have no good internet connection whatsoever unlike this place it has one of the best connections that I've ever been to. So, but I'll really try to at least upload three times a week. And I've already planned a lot of videos for you guys. So, anyway, see you on my next vid. See you.